What's your name? Mason. Mason? Mason what? Ah, okay. Are you excited about getting your hair cut today? Yes. All right, is it your birthday? Uh -huh. All right. What's good, YouTube fam? It's your boy S Crab Blends back again with another barber tutorial. And today we are going to do a little boy's transformation. We're going to do a comb over with a hard part with a number one fade on the side. And as you can see, we're going to jump right in with the number two guard open. And we're just going to float right off the ridge, knocking down some of this bulk so we can actually see what we're fading into. Now, I want to say that I'm honored to cut this little man's hair so much so that I came in on my day off just to hook him up. His mother and grandmother actually drove him two and a half hours to get his hair cut with me. And uh, just because it's his birthday weekend. So that's that's pretty that's pretty cool. And so I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Honored to do this cut. Um, it's something special when someone hits you up saying, you know, that they want their little boy to get a cut with you. Uh, so that's cool, you know, so he's going to be five years old. And as you can see, we went in with uh, the one and a half guard. We're using the wall premium guards on. Check that out. The Gamma Ergos. And I'm going to do a review on that very soon. But I want to use them just a little bit. See what I'm working with. This is my first time using them. So we did the number two first. And then we did the one and a half open. Drop down a little bit. One and a half closed. And now we're doing the one open floating right into where we did that one and a half and this is called a fade down technique where we start with a higher guard and work our way down so now in just a moment i'm going to close this number one and knock off the hair on the bottom being we are doing a number one fade as you can see there's a little dark spot i'm really struggling with that line going across because as i started cutting into it i realized he has a pretty significant dip all the way going down the side of his head uh, so it creates more of a shadow effect and also something you'll find with kids his age is they're still growing and, and maturing obviously and as they grow the fine light baby hairs uh, there's sections that'll get darker so even when you go over them with the guard you'll you'll find out that you get these little dark patches and usually i'll go in and try to knock those out or i'll come in with thin and shears and just try to knock out some of that color however that depends on how the kid is responding to the haircut usually whenever they're young something i try to do i always try to give the best haircut possible however whenever they're young you can sense if they're cool and they're just going to sit there the whole time or if they're you know over this haircut and whenever i got to the back of his head he started wondering you know is this haircut done yet <laughs> so whenever you do whenever whenever you you know start hearing that stuff you realize all right they do not want to sit long so i was trying to move as quick as possible um without you know messing him messing him up and the challenge is when you are trying to move quick but then they move really quick you can get yourself in trouble because you can create a big old line or gap in their head and that's something i was being careful of but just like on the side on the back i just jumped right into that number two kind of floating off the head uh there in the ridge area and then i'll drop down to the one and a half open one and a half close working my way down with the one open one close and we'll just do the same thing we did on the side now his mom was saying there is nothing she can do to get that hair in the back that you see standing up nothing she can do to really get it to lay down so we can either cut it off at that point it will stand up however it'll be so short you won't see it or we can continue to let it grow so this time we chose to continue to let it grow so that way he has a little bit of something to comb down in the back versus just scalping him and uh and and guess what there are times i would do that now i apologize about the blurry camera and everything that's going on i had it set on the focus there um, but with him moving there again he was kind of getting uh tired of this haircut so 
Usually in these situations, it's not going to be the blurriest fade I've ever done. But I wanted you guys to see that I also, you know, while cutting kids, have the struggle of, of them moving or, um, you know, like, you know, just needing to hurry up and get through this haircut. Because if I take time, just like that, you saw him move. That could have been very disastrous. So I got to be real quick on pulling the clipper back from the head and just uh, be, you know, be aware of what's taking place. And sometimes it happens so fast that you're just like, oh, my God, what just happened? And you have a big gap in their head. Um, so anyways, um, right now, just there again with that number one open, just floating into the one and a half that we did earlier, closing the number one and knocking out all of the uh, bottom just trying to blend into it there again i wanted you guys to see with a kid's haircut it can be challenging i don't care how good you are i don't care you know how many followers you have on instagram or youtube or how many likes you get um kids are challenging man and that's part of the joy though of barbering in my you know in my opinion I think that it's cool every now and then, you know, to to make sure you get kids and and uh, you stay on your toes. I know a lot of barbers that they're, they're like, I won't cut no kid, you know, and, and that's sad, man. I, I, I hate to hear that. I think we should all um, cut kids. It doesn't matter if they're young or they're old. We need to, you know, we need to cut everybody. I think it helps us to become more well-rounded barbers. And I believe it teaches us patience in life. And we all need a little bit of patience. Um, but there again, this video is not going to be the crispest, crispiest quality simply because of him moving and me trying to hold his head in certain positions. It gets out of the focal frame, but that's all right. So as you can see, I combed all the hair over, you know, I made sure it was wet, created a, a line with my comb. And then I just come in and create a part right at the line that I did. Now, I know some people hate whenever you just cut right into the part. Um, this is the style we were going for. This is what the mother wanted. And I think it's pretty cool, actually. I think it's uh, really easy to, you know, um, just throw some gel in there and comb it over without having to worry about this side of the part being combed over as well. So we started out with the number one and a half. Uh, and we just knocked, it was open, and we knocked down all that hair right up to the part there. And, you know, as they get a little bit older, for those that like to make sure that they comb the hair down on this side of the part, you can do that. But she wanted something simple and clean, but yet had some style to it. So when she threw some product in the top, um, it still looked fresh. And I think it's cool, man. So um, we just tied that. One and, a, one and a half guard all the way into the back trying to make sure that we keep the you know the shape in the back and just float it all together but now i have a number one open i switch from the green guard to the actual one guard that comes with the the uh, ergos i want to kind of see how they cut there again i'm keeping in mind you know how's this clipper cutting being it's the first time that i cut with it and um there again, I'm going to give everyone a review on this clipper and unboxing and, and just kind of give you my thoughts. Um, kids hair is not the greatest to actually do reviews on um, simply because, you know, a lot of the cuts that I do are real tight, bald fades and they're on more of a thicker, coarse hair, adult stuff like that. So that's what I really want to try them on to give my honest review and feedback. As you guys know, um, you know, I don't rep any clipper company, you know, so I'm going to give you the straight up real deal review. So I'm excited. The reason I picked these up is because I didn't see real uh, uh, too many um, reviews on these ergos. So I was like, you know what? I want to check them out, see see what they're like and uh, give you guys a review. So far, they seem to be doing pretty, pretty good. However, there again, man, kids, kids hair is different, man. It's unique. And, uh, and especially when they're moving, it's hard to really get a full, um, feel for these clippers, but 
Uh, what I do love about them so far is they are very, very quiet, almost like the, the 50 cows if you had those. Um, they're just super quiet, so it does make it a little bit easier when you're cutting kids' hair. So as you guys saw, I did the one and a half open, one and a half closed, dropped down a little bit, did the one open, one closed. And uh, with that one close, we just knocked out the bottom just like we did the other side. Now I'm coming in and line him, lining him up, trying to be very gentle and careful with these, uh, with these trimmers that I have. I told you guys before that I really love these silver um, babyless trimmers that I have because I have them hitting really nice, but they're not, they're not really uh, uh, sharp, sharp where, where it would hurt somebody. So I feel like they're pretty good for kids. Um, now we're just going ahead and cutting off the top and I'll use a clipper over my finger, just like you would do a shears, sectioning off. Um, you know, and the reason I do this, um, especially with kids is simply because Kids are so likely to move that if you're not careful, man, they can jerk one time and you just whack your knuckle with them shears. And I've done that many of times. So when I do it this way, I know that I'm not going to cut myself. Um, so as you've seen, I just kind of sectioned off the hair. Whenever I got to the side where we're combing it down, I just kind of rounded into that uh, guard that we did earlier. And now I'm just coming back cross cutting. And uh, yeah, man. Just taking out all those peaks and valleys and smoothing it out. Now I'm doing some clipper over comb to kind of tie that fade in where it looked a little bit bulkier on this side. And uh, there again, guys, and this is from me to you. Um, if, a, if a kid's sitting still and they're not really fighting me and there's some kids that they just sit absolutely still, man, I'll detail that fade because I know that I can get away with it. Um, however, with some kids like you see he's just over it right now um so uh, i try to move as quick as possible get the best quality cut as possible just make it look clean especially being they drove two and a half hours for this cut um it, it's not perfect i could have kept working on it um but i didn't want to keep working and mess myself up or you know mess him up rather by giving him a line because he was moving a little bit but ultimately he wasn't crying he's a great kid look at that smile right there i'm super excited to to cut his hair and uh there's the finished product guys i hope you like it give my man mason a thumbs up let him let him know uh tell him happy birthday but anyways like subscribe comment and uh god bless you we'll see you later this week peace